Hello, TankSlayer710 here, and today I will be going over the Tier 8 Premium Russian Medium tank currently for sale, the T44-100. In this review, I'll be briefly be going over the tank's history, then I'll show you some gameplay, and finally I'll give my rating of how it fares on the Holy Trinity of Tanks, and tell you if I think it's worth the grind. The T44-100 was designed after trials, when it was shown that the T44's 85mm gun was just not good enough for combating new NATO tanks such as the Pershing. It was upper... It was up gun to a 100mm gun and a 122mm gun, and two prototypes were built. They both did pretty well in trials, but the project was stopped as the T-54 was ready for service and completely outperformed any of the T-44 variants. In World of Tanks, this plays like a T-44, but actually slightly worse in almost all aspects. Okay, so, we are on encounter battle on Mayan Ruins, and I'm not really top of the tier, and I'm also platooned up with Subway and an IS-3. So, our Lova asked if we could head around to where most of the heavy tanks go around in the city, and my IS-3 agrees, so we decided to head there. So I'm having a little bit of a confusion moment here, because our IS-3 wants us to go, or my platoonmate wants us to go there. And I sort of agree, and I sort of want to also go where the medium tanks are, because I think we'll outclass them with the medium tanks. But our T-54E1 decides to go this way, so I was like, you know what, Let's, I'll just go with the heavies, maybe I can do some flanking work and whatnot. So, I head on my way there. As you can see, our T-49, who was stocked, decided to, you know, yellow off. Yeah, so if you look at the tank model, there's, like, a ton of different, uh... I mean, it's kind of cool, compared to the T-44, there's, like, a ton of different, like, little stuff. There's, like, helmets, there's other random crud all over it. I mean, it doesn't really add to the gameplay aspect whatsoever, and it actually sort of diminishes the amount of space armor, because, um, heat loses... Uh, oh, and then my amazing misclick of absolute glory. Just hitting that adrenaline. I have that in some of my top 10 things noobs do, and that, has, that says something about me. So, great great job, me. So, I just waste my adrenaline, because I ac accidentally mistap, and our T-49 decides to one-up my stupidity by trying to YOLO their team. So, I run into a T-54 lightweight, and I know I can pen his frontal armor with that, without that much problems, even though my gun doesn't have very good pen. The alpha is over average, and it can definitely be a lightweight's alpha, because the alpha uh, lightweight has the LTTD's gun, which is not amazing, but it's definitely not bad. So I'm trying to bait shots out to my front, even though I know my frontal, frontal armor isn't that thick, I'm trying to uh, bait shots hopefully into my tracker in my front. And it seems to be going pretty well so far. Then the troll cannon turns the corner, and also my friend got completely destroyed. He headed there and just got wrecked by the troll cannon, or the boys again, the troll cannon. So first shot goes in my tracks. And I'm waiting there for this, them to repair themselves. And then right as I decide, you know, I'll just repair them. They get themselves repaired. So I just wasted so far an adrenaline and a repair kit. Which is going to come back to bite me pretty soon. So, I'm trying to tell them to attack the lightweight. Because I can't move out to do anything about this Yacht Tiger 105. Until the lightweight gets get, uh, gets getting gotten with it. But, I waste that as well. Because I might have tracked repaired right before I wasted it. So now I finally get my adrenaline back up. But it's useless at this point. Because my ammo rack gets hit, and since I'm such a genius and I've already wasted all my consumables, I can't fix anything. So I told my team that my ammunition rack's hit, but I think they think that means I have no ammo, which you'll see later. The AUG-88 comes around, or the AUG-105, comes around towards the T-41. I can't really answer my platoon right now, because now I'm in a battle with the T-54 lightweight. So I think I'm completely screwed here, and so I try to face hug him, and by complete luck, he bounces a shot off my upper plate. My friend tries to derp him in the back, but it doesn't hit, and I reverse, and then I get him right before he reloads, which I thought wasn't going to happen, because I thought I was he was going to reload in time to kill me, because my ammo rack am is hit, my gunner is dead, and I'm attracted damage. So now I go for the Yacht Tiger 105, and he's very, very busy with our T-54E1, which is completely fine with me, because one more shot and he's done. And our team's catching up, and our Borsig takes him out. So yeah, that's a good game. Let's go check out the post-battle results. So it wasn't a really good game, got a third class mastery, 884 XP, and a pretty half decent amount of credits. So yeah, now on to the conclusion. So, now I'll go over the holy trinity of tanks. For speed, I give it a 7.5 out of 10, because it's pretty maneuverable for a medium tank, and can actually almost keep up with some light tanks, and can outclass some other slower medium tanks of the tier. For the gun, I give it a 6.5 out of 10, because even though its DPM is half decent and its reload's pretty good, its penetration is pretty lacking, you have to load APCR a half decent amount if you want to do as much damage as you should be able to do. And finally, for the armor, I give it a 5.5 out of 10. I really don't think it does well in this aspect, as its turret's wider and weaker than the T-44, so you can't go hull down, and its hull armor is nothing special whatsoever. 
Its sides can stop HE and heat, but with that thin armor, no one's going to need to fire heat at you unless they're a gold noob. In conclusion, I would say, unless you've either completed the grind or need, only need to spend 5 to $10 to get this tank, it's worth it. And it's not as bad. In conclusion, I would say if you completed the grind or only need to spend 5 to $10 to get this tank, it's worth it, as it's not bad by any tank standards. But if you need to pay a full price for one of these, wait for the T-54 Mod 1, as the T-44-100 just isn't anything more than an average in any category, and lower than mediocre in some. That's all for this review. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like or subscribe. Until next time.